Kia ora team, Chris Fahi here. Today we're checking out the latest progress on the construction of the city rail link stations in Auckland. So this vlog follows up on my prior update on the city rail link from about five months ago. The vlog starts at the future Mount Eden rail station. The tunnel boring machine arrived on site about six months ago and the team at City Rail Link have now got it up and running and starting to actually dig. Across the remainder of the site, heaps of activity is underway, which is best described as groundworks. In the immediate area, something notable is the Enfield Apartments have recently started construction at 1 Enfield Street, directly opposite the station. Also notable is some of the cool fencing that the City Rail Link has put up around the site, featuring work by local artists. Meanwhile down at the future Kranga Happy Station, things are largely concealed by the massive noise enclosure over the station hull. The noise enclosure seems pretty good. I'll pause the vlog music now and you'll be able to hear the buzz of the ventilation system and some of the banging that's happening below ground. If you listen carefully, you can also hear the sound of the like button being smashed. At the other side of the Kranga Happy Station, there's a lot of work happening at the Beresford Square entrance, which is a useful reminder that the entry points to the CRL actually cover a pretty wide distance. Meanwhile, down on Albert Street, there's a huge amount of work underway for the future Altair Station. The works extend for several city blocks and there's a huge array of kit cranking away down there. From a real estate perspective, this area has a lot of interesting projects being driven by the city rail link. At Aotea Station itself, there's the recent Aotea Overstation development that was announced by Auckland Council. Just next door, Auckland Council has also been consulting on Bledisloe House as part of its long-term plan. Down the other end, Pro Invest and its builder Icon are now well progressed on the Voco HIE Hotel and just next door Manson's has kicked off construction of a new office building. So fair to say there's heaps going on around this station. Finally down at Britomart Station, the Lower Queen Street public space is now largely complete. This area was dug up for one of the first stages of the city rail link tunnels. The Chief Post Office building has also recently reopened after being closed during those tunnelling works. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick update of the progress on the city rail link works and some of the surrounding real estate action. If one of your mates is working on these projects then please tag them in the comments or if you just thought this video was cool then go ahead and smash that like button. Cheers bye!